The WordPress editor is what you use to create content in WordPress. It's exactly the same on both posts and pages, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how it works and how you can use it to create content on your WordPress powered site. I'm going to use this example with posts, but it's exactly the same editor with pages. And the first thing we need to do is go to posts and then click add new. This is going to take us to the new post page. And you'll see here this main section of the site is the post editor. The first thing you'll see is you have space for a title. This is where you can add the title of your post or page. So um, I'm just going to add a title that says this is a title. You'll see that WordPress automatically saves a permalink, which I can edit and also have a button to view the post. Permalinks are the URL to your post on your website. And they are typically just the title with hyphens in between any spaces. These won't appear on your site until you publish the post. And so this is just for your reference at the moment, but you can edit it by clicking edit and then typing in any additions you want to make. Say if you're updating, you might want to add update and just press OK in order to do that. The next section is the main body of the post editor. And this is a what you see is what you get editor. What that means is if you see any changes you make here, then they're going to be displayed on your site. You can obviously type in the content you want to display, but I'm just going to paste in some dummy content that I've created earlier. I can create extra paragraphs just by pressing the return key. I can highlight text that I want to use these extra styling options on. For example, I can bold, italicize, I'll strike through. I can create uh, bulleted or numbered lists, and I can do that just by pressing that button there. And to create additional bullets, I just need to hit return in order to add those there. To remove that, I just need to untick, unclick the bulleted list button. I can add a numbered list and it's the same. Just press that button and then add returns in order to add the extra numbers to your list. And you can turn that off again by just pressing that numbered list button can add what's called a block quote, which is a type of styling you might use for quotes or other call out information. And so I can add that there to that whole paragraph just by pressing the block quote button. And you'll see this changes the styling of this text here and it will display as it will on my site. And this is the what you see is what you get nature of the editor. I can also add in a horizontal line. So to remove this block quote, I just need to click the block quote button to stop that continuing. And a horizontal line there just by pressing that button, which is a styling line I might use to separate my content. And I can also change the justification of the text. And then I can align it left, center, or right. You can also add links here um, by just selecting the text you want to link, for example, here, and then pressing the insert or edit link button. You have the option to enter the URL that you want to link to, or you can use this drop down to search from existing content you've already published on your site. So if I want to link to the Hello World post, then I just need to tick that and press add link. And that's going to add that link. And to remove the link, same process, just select that and then press remove link. You can also insert a read more tag if you're displaying whole content on your homepage or archive pages on your site, then inserting the read more tag, which you can do just by hitting return to create a space and then pressing insert read more, that's going to uh, create a break on the archives of your site. So on your homepage, for example, it will only display the content that is above that read more tag. And then it will have a button that says read more where you can click through to the rest of the post in order to read the rest of the content. You can just delete that by pressing delete there. And then the next button on the editor is the toolbar toggle. This will bring down a whole bunch of extra styling options. For example, here we have a drop down that will allow you to choose between different types of text. So if I wanted to add a heading, then I would perhaps shorten this piece of text. If I wanted to make this my heading, then I could just use this drop down, select heading uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six, or pre formatted text, or I can revert that to a paragraph just by selecting the one at the top. Also, got an uh, underline option here. 
You can have text aligned justify, so this is going to spread the text out along the whole of the line. You can change the text color. You can paste any text which has any extra styling on it, or you can clear the formatting of any text you've selected. So if I select this, I can press the clear formatting button, and that's going to remove the extra formatting I've added there. You can add any extra special characters, such as uh, these different currency signs or different ligatures that you might have in different languages. You've also got a button to increase or decrease an indentation, as well as undo or redo. And you've also got a shortcut here to find out the keyboard shortcuts in WordPress that will allow you to use the editor just a little bit faster. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we're gonna see we've got a word count and the most recent draft saved. And WordPress will automatically save your drafts, but to do so manually, you just need to click the Save Draft button on the Publish section there. And once that's done, it will update the draft, and you can then preview your post by clicking Preview Post. And that's going to load up a live preview of what the post will look like on your website when it's published. This is not published yet, it's just for your reference so that you can check that the what you see is what you get editor and all the content you've got here is displaying as you want it on your site. So this is just a quick overview on how to use the editor in WordPress. There are some additional options such as adding media, but we'll cover those in later videos. You also have specific options for posts and pages, but again, we'll look at those later. It's just a quick overview on using the editor in WordPress. Hope this has been helpful and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.